tomorrow's gonna be uh, it's gonna be exciting, guys. Last year they took it from us, so I think we have to make it a priority of ours to to win this derby, to get the series back. And I know that's been a talking point, but it's very important, guys. It's our start. All right, we gotta have a good start. We have to bring the energy. I feel like a couple games ago when we played them, it was just very lax of days ago, and they punished us early on. You better you better believe that they're gonna be pumped up for this. So it's a great opportunity for us. I think it comes down to what Jesse was saying in there. These games, is, it's a battle. I think whoever wins the battle normally wins the game. I think obviously you've got to be careful with mistakes and you know, in their box, we've got to take our chances. But if we're ready for the battle, which I'm, I know we will be, um, yeah, we win. We're at home, we're good at home. I think, yeah, we'll be all right. But just be prepared for that battle. It is a beautiful day in the metro area, and the battle for area supremacy is on the line today as the colors of red and blue will certainly be sprinkled among Red Bull Arena in the battle for good versus evil, left versus right, up versus down, red versus blue. We welcome you here to Red Bulls Radio, and it is the first edition of the 2018 New York Derby here with New York City making the trip across here to Red Bull Arena. It should be something that, uh, uh, I mean, listen, this is the fourth year of it. It's still extremely fun. They got the whole full 90 today against those uh, Smurfs. The Smurfs, all right? Let's go. Coach, rivalry week here with Major League Soccer and obviously with NYC coming back in. Um, the rivalry the first three years has been heated and passionate without question. And last year, the team across the river were able to get a majority of the points. How much of a talking point was last season going into this game today for you during the course of the week in training? Not a ton other than to say this is our only game at home. We want to do well with this. We want to gain the edge uh, in the series this year and, and find a way to, to set the tone for what the, what the three games will be. And then I think the bigger talking points are the team that New York City is and, and what their qualities are, what their, you know, they have some new players, making sure our, our players are educated on some of their new players and some of their emphasis this year, which is a little bit different than years past. So I think our team is prepared and it'll be, um, you know, the job of us on the day to really go out and put the game on our terms. New York will always be red. Get out of here with that blue stuff. Red, 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 always. Let's go. Showing desire and pride. I think if we bring that out there, the rest will take care of itself. Just win a battle. Hey guys, be excited. These games are fun. And last year they took it from us, so we owe them one. Let's make amends right now. And in two hours, I want to be in this locker room thinking about how much ass we can. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. six-pointer, as it seems to be every time these teams meet. NYC getting us underway. Ball at the back for uh, Cayenne to deal with, but deal with it he did. Bradley Wright Phillips is onside here, and with a clear path to goal! Sean Johnson with the save, but the follow-up is in! It's Kaku! What a start for the Red Bulls! Unbridled joy for the Red Bulls fans and Kaku on the mark! They want to high press, they want to turn the ball over. So when the ball then turns over, they've got you outnumbered in your defensive third. Sean Davis finds Bradley Wright Phillips, and they overflow you with numbers coming forward. Kaku follows the play up. Great start for the New York Red Bulls at home. Very happy to have scored on my first derby. 
you know, I had never, never been able to score one at a derby in Argentina, and having done it here, it's a unique feeling. Kaku making things happen again, and that's a deflected shot, and it's two! It gets better and better for the Red Bulls. Florian Valo is going to take the plaudits. It was the deflection that left Sean Johnson helpless, but it'll be Velo's goal. An absolute horrendous start from New York City. Slow to react, slow to compete, slow to get after it. And that's never been an issue for the New York Rebels. In about the time it's going to take to run the Kentucky Derby later on, the Red Bulls have raced in front here. Everybody can see that Kaku, every time he's got the ball, he's just staying forward, forward, forward. And you just make a, a run and you know where the ball is going to land. So I was making the run without looking where I was going to put the ball and I just turn and then the ball just comes to my feet. So it's really easy to play with them. They're just second to everything. New York City is second to everything, whether it's decision making, whether it's 50-50 balls. It's been an absolute shocking first half from New York City. Davis onto Kaku. And cause more mischief, Bradley Ray Phillips! Oh, he has the right stuff again against New York City. He can't stop scoring against them. 3-0. Decision making to be done at halftime because look at this, one, two touch passing, bypassing lines, running circles around. How do you not put pressure on Kaku inside your own 18? That is inexcusable and he drops it on a dime, and Bradley Wright Phillips with his 11th goal against New York City. It has been a complete first half performance from the New York Red Bulls here at home. One of the main things that I want to get across to you guys is there's, there's fatigue, and then there's body language and communication. Okay? So yeah, of course we're tired. They're tired too, I guarantee you. But I don't want to see guys like this, right? And like when Kamar knows he should be rest defense on Medina, or when uh, uh, Amir knows he should be rest defense on Burgett, or when Brad starts to get tired of, no. Shoulders back, body language, deal with the fatigue, man up, organize things around you, and take care of Okay, because that in itself, is the difference between 5-0 and 3-3, okay? The Red Bulls pretty much perfect in everything they did through the first 45 minutes. The polar opposite true for New York City FC, who made two switches, Pantry Vieira not hesitating. Murillo just got a touch to that. Robles with a firmer touch, but the danger not removed. Villa back in, and it really should have been buried. Medina. Burgett, meanwhile, some good work. In towards Wallace, who goes up and won it in the air. New York City have responded with a lot more possession in the second half, but nothing to show for it. There's another chance for the mic off the bar, and Bezicourt, the substitute, had a chance to put over the rebound for low. It was who shot, came back off the underside of the bar initially, and it still might break for Etienne. Round the keeper! And this play starts with Velo hitting the crossbar, but just putting on pressure. New York City can't get out of their own end. We came into this game, 10 different players had scored goals to tie an MLS record in the first seven games. What happens today? What happens today? Four different players score goals because Jesse Marsh has this whole team bought into that game plan and everyone playing a part and the second half substitute Derek Entienne finishes the playoff. I think it, I think it's a big success I mean um, we emphasized it before the game how they were able to come here and take points away from us and then even uh, you know win the series last last year so we wanted to be, be out there, go out there and, uh, and be dominant especially at home in front of the fans and put the first one and uh, you know I think I felt in the first half that's what we were able to do I think we completely dominated in all aspects of the game but then, you know, you know, as a good team does like they are, they came out there in the second half and, and they put some pressure on us and we were able to ride that pressure and then able to, to see out the win. Four goals and a five-star performance on Cinco de Mayo for the Red Bulls. Second biggest victory in the history 
of this rivalry, and it was never in any doubt, was it? First half, first half, brilliant. That's what we wanted to do. We showed up today for the game that it was. Second half weren't that great, but we stuck to it. Clean sheet, defenders, quality. Everyone, everyone was brilliant. Well done, boys. That's two wins in a row. Let's keep going, guys. Let's get on a rhythm here, huh? Let's keep the drive. Let's keep the focus. Let's keep pushing ourselves to get better and better, knowing that our upside is really big. Okay? Really big day for you, buddy. Really good day for you. Okay, come on in, guys.